cannot believe he's letting this go. Well, just let him go till they eat their way through the boards, Andy, or, or this, or a fight. One or the other. Keith Acton finally broke away. He is far smaller than the guy he was against. That was Norm Rochefort. But Dale Kushner had his hands full of Troy Millette. Now they've switched. There's Acton. Look at Acton challenging Millette. Well, what I mentioned about Keith Acton wanting to try anybody, any size. Millette, all of 220 pounds. Well, the kegs of dynamite were out there. Acton with Berube on one side and Kushner on the left. And Lindy Ruff, the guy that's throwing the left right now for the Islanders, is on the left side of this line with Millette at center and Ty Domi on the right. So it was all there. And I, I, all, all, I have to question Andy Van Helleman's judgment for letting that go on. I mean, you had to assume that it was going to end up in something like this. Did you not? I did. Yeah, it looked like it was getting rougher each time. And I think the one thing that happened here, Kevin Collins just caught a left. Boy, he had he actually... Didn't know it because he couldn't see behind him to know not only that the left was coming, but also that he was holding back Ruff from getting any kind of defense against Berube, who was coming through. But the punch didn't strike Ruff. Instead, it got Collins. So out of the... So turn the other way if you don't want to see it. But Craig Berube lands square on Collins' forehead. Bingo. See, he's got Ruff all locked up. But Brossaker thought he had Berube, and Berube was able to get one arm free, and it wasn't even Ruff who suffered as a result. Well, Berube said he was sorry, but that doesn't patch Kevin Collins up right away, but as soon as Collins delivered in the penalty box, you can read lips from here, Berube said, sorry, man. And then he proceeded to stand up and yell at Lindy Ruff, accusing him of, I don't know, fighting like a female or something. I was trying to read his lips. Berube having some words across the way at the Rangers bench and will depart. 12.37 to... One thing that's good...